Where is the hair? Where is the boom, hair? Boom, boom. Bum, bum. <laughs> Where is the hair? Where is the hair? Dum, bum. Don't you try and bum me. I'm sorry, Stuart. That's against the rules. Uh, uh, homophobic. <laughs> I've got a little boy with cerebral palsy who wants to play chess with Noel Edmonds. Uh, Nigel, could you? I don't know why they've come, to be honest. I've got absolutely nothing to say to either one of the Bill Jean! Oh. <laughs> Look at this! I got grandkids. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him picking me up. Uh, Seven-ish. Do you want sex then meal or meal then sex? Uh, how about sex meal sex? <laughs> that depends. Elizabeth Gadge, that you gave this creature a title. Hello, Comfort Sport Line. Can I help you? Hello, Andy. It's me. Hello. Leave her alone. I like a talking posh. It's not posh, Mother. It's proper. Oh, <laughs> we're not proper, Mum. <laughs> Be beer, dear, and shut the door. Otherwise, we'll all catch our deaths. For one Esther. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, uh, can we get the bill? Which I'm sure you know, Professor Squires. And why? Lee. Which bin is it in? <laughs> you know, I was in home base only this morning. When these blue rivers in my wrist to run and mingle with the cheap bath salts and soap. Then will my guilt drain out with them to see. You know, I hate that stupid name, I always did. But someone had already registered cheese and onion, I told you. Inside the box was a paint pot. Inside the paint pot was a human turd. So, you know, people are funny, aren't they? Clive Carroll. Uh, scribbler, dreamer, uh, also a member of the public. Uh, I did win the Breakthrough Talent Award. Yada, yada, yada. I'm Paula, you all know me, and I'm here doing a West End show, and I've got a costume fitting at four, so we better, you know. At the San Siro, the ushers escorted you all the way down the tunnel, and we had our own espresso machine. This was before they became commonplace. They're more ubiquitous than kettles now. Worst for oh, he got collared by Mitch. He was trying to show him video replay on his phone. Well, he shouldn't be looking at that! Use any chair? Uh, no. The sight lines are good. The smugs are splitting up. He said, Oh my god, that's brilliant news, and he gave me a hug. So last Tuesday, I'd done a three hour social media blackout as a fundraiser for charity. So I would kill for you if it were necessary, if it, if it meant keeping you safe. You were only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Don't want him looking at us, do we? Shampoo and body wash, all at satisfactory levels. And one form of it, oh boy, who lives down the lane. Well. Do anything. Why did you end up doing this? Because that's the kind of 
us you were. I knew this was going to happen. They are a figment of my imagination. Wait, let's go. No, it's okay. She's seen my face. Fuck you now. Oh, this is top notch, sack. Well, double L done. Don't answer it. Telling me off already? I'm telling you off. Attacking me? Oh, calm down, Harry. Hello. Hello. What are you doing under there? <laughs> I'm as old as my gums and a little bit older than my teeth. <laughs> I'll put 58. But join us next week when we... <laughs> and I bet she hasn't dusted these blinds. Chaz. Would you mind if I got a quick picture of the pair of you? I work at the Chronicle. Certainly. I've always wanted to feature in the local paper. You heard the woman, Tobbs? Get undressed. <gasps>